Now, in this video of WCF, we'll start consuming the hosted services. We have already hosted the WCF services in the four ways. Now, it's time to consume them on the client side. So, let's see how to start consuming the WCF services practically. So, for consuming the services, let's first accept the service or first consume the service which we have deployed over the IIS. So, here it is the website using which we have created the WCF service in an ASP.NET website. So, here we have the class called user inside which I have the couple of methods and here is the iUser interface and later we have implemented we have actually deployed this particular service in the IS server and which you can see right here where you can see sample WCF web service and here you can check like if you come to content you will get the SVC file alright so uh, let's browse this And here you can see there is a path. So let's copy this particular path in order to consume. And here, you, if you get, want to get the WSDL, that is the visual document, I'll actually copy this particular path rather than that one. So I have copied that. Let's close it. And we'll take a new instance of Visual Studio. And here I'll come to File, New Website. We'll take an empty site the name WCF client web say ok here in the solution explorer I'll come to project name right click add service reference and here I can paste this particular visual document path we'll say go and here you can see the name of the service that is the user and the interface name that is iUser and inside this you will get the method names which are decorated with the operation contract here is the default name service reference 1 if you want you can change it like user management you can put anything out there all right that will be the name of the library using which you can use the functionality from these service so let's say okay and here in the folder called app underscore web references you will get user management inside which you will get the number of files that is the visual document and inside this visual document you will be able to get the details of all the things which has been provided by this particular service like the name of the method welcome user authenticate user and with the type of your parameters and the return type so you will get the complete detail what all you are getting from a particular service let's add a page to consume the service so here I will add a web form let's pick it default here I'll take a couple of controls like a text box and a button let's take a label also alright so these are the three controls which I will work with so this is the label let's put it there I'll blank the text alright and in the code file what I'll do I'll just add the reference called using user management alright and as soon as the button will be clicked the submit button will be clicked I'll just say user client that's the name of the proxy class that which will be generated on the client side alright so similarly we have the name of the class called user in the server side but as soon as the reference will be added it will be user client client is equal to new user client and inside this you will get all the methods of that that like authenticate user welcome user and all so here I have just taken one parameter one one text box in the UI so I'll just call welcome user whatever you will enter in the text box I'll just pass that particular text out here and whatever it will return I will put that inside the label which I have already taken in the user interface. So let's execute this. So here I'll enter Anadi Sharma. I'll click on submit and here it will get concatenated with the welcome. Alright, as what we are doing out here. 
whatever you will pass in the parameter I'll just concatenate welcome string with that particular value all right and this is what we have gotten here so this is how you can start consuming the IAS deployed WCF service